Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting out with the eyes and I'm applying some tape to the outer corners and then prepping them and priming, I guess, at the same time using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. Then to set that base down, I'm going into my Z palette and taking Makeup Geek Mirage and I'm just pressing that into my lids. Then I'm taking the shade Peach Smoothie, which is also from Makeup Geek, and I'm using an E40 brush just to buff this messily above my crease. Then I'm taking the shade Frappe, and I am starting to buff this into the crease, but a little bit more precisely than I did with Peach Smoothie. Then I'm taking the shade Petal Pusher, which I really don't know why because it ended up being a very warm tone look, so I really didn't need to add this shade, but I did. Um, and then I'm taking Cocoa Bear and just doing the same thing with my E40 brush. Then I'm going into the shade Cherry Cola and I'm using an E25 so it's a bit more precise. And I'm just starting to build this up in the outer corner and then bring the shade in through the crease. Then I'm taking this gel pot liner from Sigma, it's in the shade Liberally Toasted and I'm just using an E56 to start packing this onto the lid. It's kind of hard to work with products like these on the edges, um, so I'm blending with a P82 brush just because they are a gel liner and they set pretty quickly but we made it work. And then I'm going in with the shade Latte just on an E71 brush and I'm buffing that right over the top of where I put the liner and then going back in with my E25 and blending the edges and obviously repeating the same steps on the other eye. Then I just went back in with my E40 to blend those edges out. For my winged eyeliner, I used my current fave, which is the Technique Cosmetics Skinny Liner. You guys know I've been loving this, uh, so, yeah, so, so, yeah. so yeah, I just created a wing with that. Then I removed the tape and revealed a super crisp line and applied some black liner in my tight line and then applied, oh no, just going in with my E25 once again and blending the edges. And then I'm applying a coat of Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara and applying the Model Rock Lashes in the style that will be listed below because I can't remember. Then moving on to the face, I'm just using a makeup wipe to remove any fallout. Then I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer and applying that to my skin. And then I do go in with a little bit of Benefit Professional uh, just on like the center of my face where my pores are most prominent, so sort of my cheeks, my nose, and my forehead. Then for foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I used to hate this, and now I honestly really like it. I don't know why, but yeah, my taste has changed. So just applying that with a damp beauty sponge. And then to cream contour, I'm taking my NYX foundation stick in the shade Caramel and just applying it to all of the outer perimeters of my face and down my nose, under my lip, all of those types of places. And then I'm using my Sigma 40 HD Kabuki. It's one of my favorite brushes to blend out my cream contour. Then to just make sure everything was super blended, I just took my sponge once again and blended out the edges and used any leftover product underneath that contour. Then for concealer, I used two. I used the Tarte Shape Tape, so I used this one kind of under my eyes and a little, like, couple of dots down the center of my face. And then I just mixed in a little bit of the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer down my nose, um, around the chin and, you know, you saw where I put it. Um, I just wanted a mixture of these two so I still looked really dewy. And I just went in with my little precision angled kabuki brush from Sigma just to get right underneath my eyes and make sure I didn't mess up my winged liner. Then I'm taking some of the Benefit What's Up highlighter and I'm just using it on the tip of my beauty sponge and applying it to the tops of my cheeks, the tip of my nose, 
my chin, my cupid's bow, and yeah, all of sort of the down and center of my face. Then I'm going in with my setting powder. I'm using the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder, and I'm using an F64 from Sigma to pretty much press this into the skin where I applied my concealer and then I swap over to an F25 tapered face brush to set the rest of my face. Then to contour and kind of bronze up my skin I'm using Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm using my favorite bronzer brush which is the F23 from Sigma. I absolutely love this brush. It's so quick and easy to use uh, and yeah I love this bronzer as well so pretty much just giving myself a little bit of a bronze up and then for blush I'm using a blush I have not used in such a long time which is Mac warm soul so I'm just applying that to my cheeks with an f37 brush and then to highlight I'm taking the middle shade from my Mecca enlightened trio highlighting palette which I love this palette you can buy one of the shades separately I believe now so yeah check it out if you haven't already and then to set everything down, I'm using my Algenist Splash Setting Spray all over my face. Then for the under eyes, I... Oh gosh, someone's beeping at 11.30 at night. But I'm going in with the shade Frappe and I'm just buffing this underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the shade Coco Bear and just doing the same thing, just really smoking out the bottom um, to kind of match the top. And I did take some more Cocoa Bear and just add it to the crease on my upper lid just because I wanted a little bit more warmth in the crease. Then I'm going in with the shade Americano which is a super deep brown and I'm just buffing that underneath the lower lash line again. And then I'm taking the shade Corrupt which is a matte black and I'm using an E15 definer brush just to press this up against my lower lash line and make it look nice and thick. Then I just took the same highlighter shade that I used on my face to highlight my inner corners and applied a coat of lower lash mascara and that finished off the eyes. Then for lips, I lined them using my favorite nude lip liner which is Maybelline Nude Whisper. And then I filled them in using the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade Sugar Mama which is like a gorgeous peachy nudie kind of shade and that finished off the entire look I really hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a like if you did and I will see you in my next one